working out regularly is one of the best ways to relax your body and relax your mind. Aim for just simply 30 minutes a day of moderate and a moderate intense activity. And that's a breath walk. And you can easily just go outside. It costs no money. Just go out, walk every day for at least 30 minutes. If you want something a little more intense, you need 75 minutes of either vigorous swimming, jogging, something that works for you. Any amount of exercise is better than none. Even if you break it up into simple 10 minute increments, you can do a burst of 10 minutes of exercise here and 10 minutes of exercise, you know, uh, an hour or two later or 10 minutes of exercise later in the evening. It adds up. So it doesn't have to be one 30 minutes, 75 minutes set in the gym. Any amount of exercise you do works. Keep weights in your drawer and you can do a full set while you're on a Zoom call. And the benefits of exercise are enormous. It, along with weight control and diet, exercise plays a key role in controlling your weight and preventing obesity. It reduces the risk of heart disease. Exercise strengthens the heart, improves circulation. It increases your blood flow. It raises the oxygen levels, all the things that good stress does. It lowers your risk of high cholesterol, coronary artery disease, and heart attack. So those are all the things that you're combating when you exercise, you're stop, you know, that stress response, you're combating that stress response. Exercise improves your mental health and mood. I mean, how many times have you just felt bad that you've gone for a walk and you feel a little bit better? Exercise helps you fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. Just make sure you're not exercising right before bedtime. And a really good benefit of exercise, it improves your sexual health. It can may lower the risk of erectile dysfunction and men, and in women, it can increase arousal. Exercise in increases the chances of living longer. It may reduce the risk of dying from leading causes of death, like cancer and heart disease. But before you start any exercise program, make sure you see your doctor.